so the last video I took was of the garden in winter. It was desolate and barren and, well, ugly. And uh, I wanted to take another video, walk around and let you see what was growing. So the raspberry bushes are fruiting well and tasty. And I'm trying to grow drought tolerant herbs in a bunch of the back spaces. And there's a plum tree. And I've got some tomatoes in pots and a fig. I could take hours trying to describe what's out here and some poor souls I've done that to. Uh, but what I tried to do was uh, grow as many things as I could in a small space. Things that I eat. Things that are good for the body and pretty looking sometimes and not so often. Uh, most of the stuff I have out here is uh, medicinal, edible, flavor, uh, has uses. Uh, here's a, a borage. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, the borage is uh, reseeding. It comes back. It's growing and spreading around. Uh, it's got really cool tasting leaves that are really good in salad. Uh, brings in bees, which help pollinate, well, everything. Uh, I've got an angelica. I made angelica candy for the first time this year. Uh, I, I did something, I think I overboiled it. It's not the best. Uh, this flavor that I made isn't as strong as it could be. Uh, but it's a really, I like the flavor. I don't know what to call it. Uh, spicy is a good one. Uh, but it's good in candy, uh, supposedly. And mine's not that bad. There's an elderberry that's in blossom. Let's see if I can get that in here. Uh, that looks like it. And... I think I'm going to have some elderberries. Uh, there's a, another one on the other side, not as huge. Uh, and a third one, oh, it passed away. It was in here. Uh, I replanted this this year. Um, right now there's a melon, uh, some clover that I'm letting seed so I can use it for ground cover or... Uh, Putting it into the soil, uh, lettuces, sunflowers, and I'm hoping that this one in the foreground that you see is, uh, forgetting the word. <laughs> 